The DG2A Train Delay Generator is a small freestanding instrument which has been designed for control of normal repetitive stimulation, as well as for defining the effective refractory period using a second delayed pulse. The DG2A is especially useful as a frequency generator for any devices that accepts a TTL trigger input, including our own range of electrical stimulators. The DG2A is powered by a single 9V PP3 battery, generally lasting many months and operates in four modes. These modes permit the delivery of single pulses, continuous pulses at a set frequency, or the delivery of a timed burst or train of pulses. In each mode, it is possible to include additional delayed pulses, which can be used for studies of effective refractory period. Connecting a BNC cable to the DG2A input socket allows the unit to be triggered by other devices. This can be useful when a single external TTL trigger pulse needs to be converted into a pair of pulses with adjustable delay or a pulse train. Devices to be triggered by the DG2A should be connected using one of the two output BNC sockets. The upper socket gives non-delayed output pulses, while the lower socket can be set using the associated toggle switch to deliver pairs of non-delayed and delayed pulses or just delayed pulses. The DG2A is powered by a single 9V PP3 battery which provides a long working life. Once switched on, all LEDs will briefly light up and the power LED will flash while the unit is switched on. The DG2A has four operating modes, the first of which is train mode. In this mode, a TTL input or press of the front panel trigger button will result in repeating pairs of non-delayed and delayed output pulses at the repetition rate, train duration and delay set on the front panel controls. Here, a 5 second long train at 10 Hz is delivered, indicated by the flashes of the amber output LED. In gated mode, the DG2A output is activated by a TTL high input signal. This results in pairs of non-delayed and delayed pulses being delivered at the set repetition rate for as long as the trigger input is held TTL high. The third mode is free run and results in pulses being delivered immediately and continuously at the set repetition rate. The last mode is single. Here, one input TTL pulse or trigger button press results in a single output pulse. Note that in this mode, as with all others, the operator has the option to make use of non-delayed and or delayed output pulses. In train mode, the duration controls allow the operator to set the train duration between 10 milliseconds and 12 seconds. In all modes except single, the repetition control allows the user to set the output frequency between 0.01 and 1200 Hz. In all modes, the delay setting adjusts the period between non-delayed and delayed pulses from 1 millisecond to 1200 milliseconds. If the delay is set too long for a given repetition rate, the user is alerted by a warning LED near the delay controls. For replacement, the battery is accessed by removing the four case screws and sliding the two halves of the case apart. The battery slides out of its clip and should be replaced with a premium equivalent. The DG2A contains numbered internal jumper switches, which are used to change the behaviour of the device. Switches 4 and 5 multiply the output ranges of duration and delay by a factor of 10, while switches 6 and 7 change the input and output logic to active with TTL low. The remainder serve no purpose or are for factory use. <laughs>